Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, right now we switched gears and actually moved all of our forces um, out of the Carthaginian, the Punic Wars over here. Um, but an odd situation happened. We actually be, um, put these guys under a client state. I was trying to invade them and they looked a little intimidating plus they were also getting attacked by these guys simultaneously so I asked them to be a client state and we ganged up and took out these guys' forces um, and we've been pretty good ever since um, these Spaniards look like they're definitely going to be a little bit of a, a challenge later on but then the Carthaginians came back I don't know where out of nowhere they got this other place. They didn't even have armies as far as I could see, but there they are now again. So, um, but it's been turns and turns later, and we've actually moved all of our uh, regular forces up, and uh, now we have multiple forces over here. And it looks like the uh, Spartans are doing a good job. That's too bad. <laughs> so, here we are now in uh, Northern Italy, and um, we've got a couple of armies going on over here. Ready for battle. We've got this army and his reinforcement That's your troops. Command. And then we've got this army That's over here. Command. Uh, pretty sizable. And right now we have um, a good amount of coins. We actually have 7,084. And um, we're making about 2,000 a turn. Um, but the reason why I'm not spending anything right now, whoops, that's not what I wanted, um, is because actually we have one of our objectives. If we research this technology, we'll get 15% uh, off all construction costs, and I believe it's going to be about two turns away. Yep, two turns away, and I'll get a 15% discount on every building that I have. So I'm trying to save as much money as I can for the four turns that I can just build as much as possible and get that discount um, but in other events um, because of these armies up here we are gonna go and declare war against these guys and try to take them out they have been a longtime trading partner with us however they still don't incredibly like us too much so I don't think it'll come to any the gods big surprise will have me listen to you but do not that pass the day in happen. words without merit. Use this option to officially declare war on another faction. However, do not do so without first considering the consequences. I've considered that I'm going to waste them. So Come we'll have up. our... Actually, I have our boats over here. Forming a blockade. Go over here and form a blockade on these guys. None shall pass. Oh, we could have seen. Your oh, orders. We'll see what they have when we Ready for battle. launch our next forces over here. Let them cower before Rome. Looks like they have 1,600 plus about two ships, and we have about 2,000. So that should go well. Laying siege to the settlement. Ready for battle. I'll put in some backups over here. Make haste, men. Just for the funsies of it. At your command. And then we'll take this Let force. Them cower before Rome. Attack over here. And this looks like we're actually even in a better position, even though we have two armies and a navy. This actually looks like this is going to be an easier fight. So we'll go ahead and take this one first and see how this goes. Looks like they've got. Let's see here. Uh, four javelins, a sling, and five spears. And we have about <laughs> ten legionnaires. So I think our legionnaires could do this all pretty much themselves. But we should have a good time of it anyways.
Come on, let's go. I th believe these are the Celts. Uh, even though I, I, I thought Celts were more in England, but I guess they were just shoved up there. <laughs> uh, the fog. We'll wait. That'll be fine. Okay. Looks like it's a pretty basic village. It's actually pretty run down, it looks like. Looks like Rome could do a lot with this. We just need to take out the little Stonehenge-esque building over there. Well, these infantry. legionnaires are Your in the gold for experience. So... Romans, ready for duty! Battle group ready! I mean, this should be Melee incredibly troops. easy fight against these barbarians. Battle group ready! And the way I've built this army now, hopefully I should just be able to uh, continue duty. just to march through these. And I've built some, these little backup generals just to um, hold down the fort, basically, as my armies keep marching on so I can kind of keep up this um, feverish pace. General! But uh, time will tell how, the, how that'll work. And uh, we'll take all these guys and have them Control four. Control five. Okay, so let's see what we got. Ah, I was like, I can't really see any of them. But here they are. Well, they look like they're in good shape. No. And they can grow mustaches. At your command! Brave Romans to a man! This should Double be time. pretty easy here. Orders. Advance legionaries! Our guys are definitely in a very tight formation. Missile infantry at your command! Equities! Glory to Rome! Missiles ready and waiting! Double time! Equities! Quickly now! And we'll bring our Brilliant. general a little up closer up to the front here. At speed! That general force is pretty good conditioned yeah so I think what we'll do is um, and they did kind of bottleneck us a little bit but I don't think that's gonna be any problem we'll just run our first three waves straight into this bottleneck and if we can push them down a little bit I'll run the second wave off to the right as we have our horses and um, javelin throwers attack these archers over here so it looks like our first men are in position looks like they're ready looks like they're just pumped so let's not keep them waiting melee troops Oh, I thought they were going to try to charge out a little bit, make a show of it, but nope. By your command. We'll send this first wave in here. See how this goes. First, all right. Looks like the first already fell, so we'll keep running them in here. Proud Romans all. Yeah, they were just 
Jupiter broke instantly as soon as they ran in to these legionnaires. Melee infantry at your command! Our hidden units have been discovered! For some reason, I'm really getting some lag right Roman now. I apologize for that. Duty. I don't know. Normally, this Forward. runs rather smoothly. I'm not sure what's going on right now. But I'm definitely feeling it. I'm having to re-click on a bunch of these. This battle is not going quite as well. I thought I already took my graphics down. But this is not on Ultra anymore, at least. But, uh, off to see how that goes. Man, it looks like they're really trying to set us on fire here. Because we should have be having a lot better reaction time than what we're having right now. Okay. Looks like these our horsemen are fighting these spearmen. It's probably not the right thing. We should probably run those guys. Oh, you know what? We should run them over here. And then our general. Oh, it looks like their general is already fleeing. Yeah, I think those javelins really started doing the trick. Well, we'll speed this back up a little bit. Come on, go! Seriously, how many times do I have to click to have some Roman force attack these one guys over here? Still only lost 88 guys, and they lost 1,100. So I guess, really, in the end, it worked out fine. Oh my God, these one guys killed 333. Good for them! Holy cow! That's must been the first guys we sent in. Barely lost anything. We lost more horsemen than we did those legionnaires. Those legionnaires are. A, just amazing. I think we can split up some of these armies and take out some of these guys. Um, we captured them. I think we should just occupy this. At your command. Looks like this um, army experiences well as our general. That's awesome. Um, we'll do that, and we'll give him some extra zeal. He's only 22 years of old. Um, he's a new general to us. Um, unfortunately, our last general who was in charge of this died of old age, natural causes, or whatever you want to say. So this was his first battle ever, so good for him. Um, yes. Yeah, this is our backup army that's over here. Easy into port. Right now, I think we yeah we can only recruit those. We're trying to rebuild our barracks, actually, not in this place, not our capital. Because we tried to build um, a training field in our capital instead because apparently that's the only place we can build a training field so yeah I've definitely lost some money going back and forth on some of that 
Uh, let me go through here. Um, I apologize for this. I already had it on uh, very high, but just getting some some very low frame rates, so I apologize. Uh, let's try that again. Actually, you know, gosh, still didn't really do anything. And but honor! let's continue. This should be pretty easy too. We shouldn't run into too much difficulty on this battle either. I probably should have done this first. Uh, I should probably have these territories under my wing for a while, but oh well. I, I don't know what else to say. I think definitely these um, yours to command. These legionnaires help because before I just had like Hastati and all them. Battle group ready and awaiting orders. And I think what I'll do this time. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little street right there. Okay. Yeah, we'll come at him from every angle on this one. Since we outnumber him, we'll outflank him as well. And that should give us pretty good, pretty good odds. Of Mars. There we go. Just in case, if my reaction times get a little slow here from some lag, I'll just put it on um, to where they can be Yours a little automated themselves. Our reinforcements have arrived. Jupiter gives us strength. Brave Romans to a man, legionaries, engage, sons of Mars. Missiles awaiting targets at your service. And we have their general. Jupiter gives us strength. That's Melee infantry. Here. Proud Romans all. So we'll target those guys Take with aim. our general. We'll have these guys come around. Ships. At your command, support ship. This is a bad day for them, I'll tell you what. Took a 
couple of flaming arrows to the shields. Um, a couple of guys took the face. That's unfortunate. They throw theirs. Continue to charge. Looks like their men break instantly. Felites! We obey! have been discovered. Let's see here. See, that's... How many times do I have to click before they'll go? There we go. Lost more in that one. One of our poor legionnaires just got massacred, it looks like. His health is very low. At your command. What else can we do here? Oh, we can actually upgrade one of these. Is that the idea? Oh, wow. Hmm. That's really good. Minus 20% to agricultural building costs, and then... choose something else. Fearless Warrior plus two zeal, 4% damage inflicted by all melee units. That sounds really good. I think that's the one we're gonna go for. Even though we could upgrade some of those other ones, that one looks awesome. So we'll go ahead and do that. Ready for battle. And see if our guys are healing at all, and it looks like they are. Good. We'll need them to at least recoup some of their guys. And then it looks like we'll have one more territory to take out to complete um, this region. And then we'll have another one just over here. It looks like Sweden, pretty much. <laughs> so we'll take that out. No, I guess Sweden actually might be over here. But, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and just take that. And that should complete our campaign up here. Ready for orders. Um, it looks to be going pretty well, pretty smoothly thus far. Um, what I'll try to do is have Commander. these two armies down here. Um, 
get up a couple of forces after I finish building this and they can get a couple of forces and then replace these generals in these areas and then these two generals can continue the campaign well um, I want to thank everyone for uh, joining me for this episode I'm I apologize for some of that lag in those battle scenes. I'll try to fix that on the uh, next edition there. But once again, just thank you so much uh, for joining me, and I hope you join back for my next episode. But until then, goodbye.